Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to discuss how to package our project example and we have finished so far everything related to how to present uh, the project in terms of uh, real-time interactive uh, tools like the widget that we have set up and also along with the different bounds that we have included in the presentation. So before starting to uh, package the project by going to file and uh, project packaging as for Windows, uh, the, the main important thing that you should have uh, the Visual Studio installed in your system. So it may differ to, from one operating system to another, but most importantly, you're going to have to uh, install uh, the Visual uh, Studio and uh, more specifically, the Microsoft Visual C++. Actually, you can start by this one and uh, test if the package uh, will uh, run or not. Now, before going to this step, uh, we have to uh, discuss the size of the project first and how we can minimize uh, the size. So as you can see now, the size of our example have reached to 29 uh, GB. And if you're wondering why this happened, it's basically when you start uh, including in your project some of the mega scan uh, plans, the materials, and other uh, uh, inputs that, you ha that we have imported so far, like the HDRI, when we try to um, experiment uh, with uh, different one of them and other stuff that we have included that we might not need in our uh, final project. So it's going to be impossible to package the project at this situation because of the size and also even if you manage to uh, package the project it's going to be impossible to hand over this uh, through an email or how to upload it, for example, through a WeTransfer link, for example, and send it uh, to your client or to the reviewer of this uh, project. So what should we do is we're going to create uh, a very clean um, project without anything, even the content. So when you start, for example, creating the project, uh, you're going to make sure that you will not include the starter content and uh, just start with a blank uh, level and then you're gonna go to the let's say for example we're gonna uh, need our optimized uh, daytime as this is gonna be the one that the reviewer gonna use so basically you're gonna right click and you're gonna go to the assets action and you're gonna choose migrate so the migrate option will uh, move all the related elements that's being used in this level to the to the other project so it's basically gonna ask you where you wanna uh, move uh, your uh, project so in this example I have created for example this uh, folder for packaging this so also make sure that you're gonna move the level to the content as this is where we uh, gonna use it also in our uh, other project so if I click start copying the files, it will copy all the files related to this level and ignore all of the other elements that will not be used um, uh, to the uh, packaged uh, project. So uh, I'm going to also move the daytime night optimized uh, level because this is actually connected to the same level. If you remember in our previous video, we have set up uh, a widget that uh, enable us to move to from a day to a night uh, level. So uh, I'm gonna pause the video now and uh, continue when this is gonna be finished. Okay, so now that uh, the files have been moved to the new project, which uh, the size after uh, moving all the daytime and the nighttime have come down to uh, 8 GB in terms of size. And also, uh, when we package this, or when we uh, compress the file, it came down uh, to less than 2 GB, which made it possible actually to uh, send it uh, over the internet uh, to the concerned parties. 
And this is the basic idea of how to uh, move your uh, project files from one uh, uh, Unreal Engine file to another. So it's again, it's by using the migrate uh, option. And uh, you can see now the difference if you go, for example, to our original uh, project. If we go, for example, to the Megascan Meadow back and look at uh, the grass, for example, you'll see that we have different options of the grass here. And in, if we look at our uh, clean uh, uh, project, if we look at the grass, we have only one type, which is the one that we have used uh, in our uh, example. So now that we have moved the file, the second thing is that uh, you should also um, export is the input that we have set up in our uh, project setting. If you remember, we have set up a couple of uh, input into our action mapping and the access mapping. And if you don't have this in to your new project, it uh, will be a problem actually uh, to uh, redo the whole thing again. And the easiest way to do this is by exporting this and also importing it into your uh, uh, the fresh file that we have created. And that's it actually. Um, the, the, the second thing you're gonna do now is by testing if everything is going okay and as we can see uh, the file is working uh, perfectly and you will also notice uh, that the file is moving uh, uh, running smoothly and faster than the original uh, project file one more thing also that is worth mentioning that we forgot actually to mention this in the uh, early setup uh, of this process is that we have to go to the project setting also and into the maps and moods we have to uh, define our uh, game mode if you remember we have set up an artvis game mode and also for the startup map that you would like your presentation once you package it uh, how it's gonna start with if it's for example daytime optimized as we set up in our file so both of these are, are also important so when you package your project it will start uh, based on uh, the level that you have specified. So the the packaging can be accessed again by packaging the project, uh, package project, and by Windows and going to the Windows uh, 64. You we're gonna let's say for example we're gonna package it here, and it will show you that it started to package the project. You can click on the show output log and if there is any problem related to uh, missing uh, third-party software uh, that enable the unreal engine to package your project uh, it will give you the error actually and red line and I, th I think if you download the visual studio as we have mentioned earlier in this video uh, you will not face any problems with the packaging uh, as we're gonna see so uh, I'm gonna pause the video again until the packaging finished and we're gonna check after that how it's gonna go. Okay, so now the packaging have finished and we got a success message uh, that shows that the package have been successfully uh, done. So let's uh, test our uh, project. So hopefully it will run as we have created uh, the widget, the main menu, the walkthrough. So yeah, except for this uh, um, bone thing will start. So let's see the drone and move into the character. Of course, if you move to the VR, it's gonna work. The camera is working fine uh, in terms of the of how you can gonna take sh the shot and also the canopy options that was created using the variant manager and also the material uh, for the wall. So everything is running okay according to what we have created and the first thing you're gonna notice also that it's running much more uh, smoother and faster as the file have, uh, have is running now on a, a lower size than before. So that's basically how you're gonna package your project and I hope it was clear enough for you guys and if you have any doubt or any uh, questions please share it down in the comments and hopefully um, in the next video we're gonna continue uh, by talking about uh, the ray trace system and how we're gonna apply it in this uh, project so thank you very much and see you in the next video